So this is the herb garden that we planted several weeks ago. And as you can see, we got a lot of growth on here. So now it's time to harvest. Now, a couple keys before we harvest herbs. One, you wanna make sure you water the day before so your plants aren't stressed out. And unstressed plants will give you the best flavor. So you wanna make sure they're not stressed. Make sure you have a nice sharp pair of scissors so you don't mangle the plants while you're harvesting. Now the key with herbs is that frequent harvests are a good thing because they keep the plants bushy, producing lots of new growth for you and not flowering because flowering tends to alter the flavor. We have a mixture of herbs growing in this bed here. We've got some thyme, some oregano, and some peppermint in the front, which are nice trailing plants. And eventually when they get big, they'll go over the front of the container. In the middle, we have some sweet basil and some rosemary. And then in the back here, we have some curly parsley, some flat leaf parsley, some purple basil hiding behind this giant green basil here. And then tucked in the corner over here is some sage. So we're gonna start with our basil here. I've got two types of basil. There's the green basil, and then there's a the purple basil here hiding in the back. Basil can be harvested as soon as it's about six to eight inches tall. So we're, we're well on our way to that. <laughs> we're well above that. Um, to harvest basil, the best thing to do, now if you like making pesto and you wanna harvest a lot, is you're gonna go in and you're gonna take a stem and you're gonna take off the tip and you're gonna cut it back to a node. And what a node is, is where these little side branches start coming off. So I come in and I can start cutting them out, cutting the bigger ones from the top, just taking what I need. And what this will do is it will encourage the plant to one, not flower, and two, branch more so I get a fuller bushier plant. Same thing with the purple basil. I go in and I cut the tips back to a node. Now, if I only wanted a few leaves for a garnish, I could just come in and easily down near the bottom, snip off a couple of the bigger leaves and just take those. But the vast majority of the time is you're gonna take a bunch of tip cuttings from the top. So rosemary can be harvested when it's any size, um, but if you want long skewers of rosemary, you're obviously gonna wait till the plant gets a little bigger. But if you just want some sprigs for garnish, you can come in and then take the tips off cutting back to a node. And what a node is, is where these little branches are starting to come off the side shoots. And again, remember to only harvest what you need, but this will keep the plant from flowering and also encourage it to branch more. We have two types of parsley growing in our herb garden. We have curly parsley and curly parsley is great for garnishing completed dishes. And we also have flat leaf parsley. And flat leaf parsley is predominantly used for chopping up and adding to food while you're cooking it. To harvest parsley, either type, you're gonna take the whole stem and you're gonna start from the outside of the plant, which are the oldest leaves, and then work your way in. Again, only taking what you need. Take a few of the curlies as well. And it's as easy as that. This is peppermint. Peppermint and other mints like spearmint, sweet mint, chocolate mint can be beasts in a nerve garden. So it is important to harvest these frequently and harvest them hard. What I mean by harvesting them hard is you come in and just like everything else we've talked about, cut it back. But I would cut back longer pieces to make sure that we're keeping it in check and trying to keep it bushy for as long as we can. The sage you harvest a little bit differently, uh, mainly because you don't use a ton of fresh sage when you cook. So the best thing to do with sage is to actually come out and just snip off a few of the larger leaves near the bottom of the plant um, that, you need for the, that you need for your cooking. However, if you do need a larger sage harvest or you're looking to dry sage, or you just wanna encourage your plant to branch some more, you can come in and take out the tip as well and then use your tips. Oregano and thyme are harvested the same way. As soon as the plants are a couple inches tall and then put out some new growth, you can start taking off the ends as you need them for cooking. So you're gonna go in with your scissors and just snip off the tips. Do some oregano, come in and take off a few sprigs of thyme as I cut, just like that. And that's how you harvest herbs. Now I'll come out here and harvest frequently, probably at least once a week, regardless of whether I need them or not, just to help keep the plants in check, help keep them bushy, not flowering. And so I always have them cuttings here ready when I need them.